Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Electronics Media. Today in this video, I am going to explain about the difference between the synchronous reset and the asynchronous reset. Before that, let's understand what is the reset. So, reset is a signal when it is asserted, the de design goes under the reset cycle. So that means the all of the FSMs and all of the signals are initialized with the known values. Suppose you have a you know, design where the, you know, the, the, and the, the design contains multiple FSMs. So if, if your design is going, if it has gone under a you know, a hang cycle, right? So then what happens if you assert the reset? So then that means your all of the FSM and all of the signals will be initialized with the known values so that you can proceed with the regular operation. So that's the reason why we need a reset. Now let's look at the what is synchronous reset and the asynchronous reset. So first, this is a synchronous reset. So uh, I will just write it down in terms of the Verilog code. Okay. So this is my always at the rate of passage of clock. Okay. Then begin. If reset n then you are going to initialize your signal uh, x with a zero value else you have x equals to y and this is my end okay now um, if you look at this uh, you know uh, the uh, the verilog code this piece of verilog code here in the sensitivity list i have a clock uh, that is a po uh, passage of the clock so then what happens is only when there is a clock is available that means uh, always at the passage of the clock then my reset signal will be considered so that means the negative of the reset will be considered and then only your signal x will be initialized with a value of zero suppose um, now uh, let's take a case okay this is my clock okay. Like this. okay so this is my clock and this is my reset end okay so that means what happens my reset is de asserted over here okay and then it is something like this okay it is like this okay this is my reset end so now what happens okay here if you see uh, my always block gets executed only at the every passage of the clock because the clock is there only in, uh, that is in the sensitivity list so now when this uh, passage of the clock here right my signal x will be like this okay it's a it's some uh, uh, value of uh, you know it's uh, having a value of one okay my x signal okay then here what happens my reset has changed but what happens but i cannot sample this uh, reset okay because my uh, in the sensitivity list i have the passage of the clock okay so that means here at this window my reset will be sampled okay and that means at this point my x will be initialized with a uh, value of 0 okay and then here afterwards it uh, can take the once the reset is deasserted it can take the value of y whatever that is getting assigned so now uh, what happens okay so what happens is if you look carefully observe now here we are trying to sample this uh, reset only at the positive edge of the clocks so now by any chance if your clock is gated right so that means if the clock is gated off to a block so that means what happens you are you will never be able to initialize the x with a value of zero because you don't have the clock and this always block will not be executed so that is one first thing so the second one is now you assume that you have the clock but you have this reset something like this which came up like this and then it went off like this so in this case what happened here you are trying to sample this uh, reset so which is of course its uh, value is uh, 1 so that means it's uh, out of reset here the reset is de it's uh, getting asserted over here but here we don't have the passage of the clock and by the next passage comes the reset de assertion would have happened and then you will still see the proper value which is a de asserted state of the reset so but that means your x signal did not go under the reset 
okay so it had some uh, you know uh, whatever the values and that garbage value itself will it is continued so you see you did not initialize your design so if this case happens right then your design may not go under the reset so that is the one of the you know um, uh, the disadvantage of having the synchronous reset in the design um, the another thing is okay uh, the next uh, thing is like you know uh, asynchronous reset so for the asynchronous reset now what we will we usually do is okay instead of this uh, okay i'll just write it down as a asynchronous reset Okay, async. So always at the rate of passage of clock or negage of reset. Okay. So now, if you see here, so what we have, we have the passage of the clock and the negage of the reset in the sensitivity list okay that means either the passage of the clock comes or the negage of the reset comes we are going to enter this always block and then here if you look at carefully the reset is given the highest priority uh, higher priority than the uh, the the passage of the clock so that means if there is a negative if there is a negage of the reset that comes right that means you are going to initialize the x with a value of zero okay so now um, let's try to understand this so what e, what do we mean by asynchronous reset exactly so here the reset you what you should understand is the reset assertion right reset assertion is asynchronous okay but reset d assertion is d assertion is always with respect to clock okay so either either it is a synchronous reset or it's asynchronous reset the reset d assertion has to be always on the with always with respect to the clock so the reason being suppose if you have a design if there is uh, you know uh, just like the way you do the reset uh, assert, uh, assertion right like if your design if your design goes under the reset cycle okay now with uh, with respect to d assertion if you do the same thing then you will end up in a meta stability case so uh, let me just uh, explain that why that you know um, a reset uh, needs to be d asserted with respect to clock okay now uh, assume this is a uh, the asynchronous reset and this is the the reset came so now what happened with respect to this right 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 now what happens my signal x okay which was initially one okay it went under the reset uh, cycle so that means here itself it became zero okay now suppose uh, the reset uh, as i mentioned why do we need a reset to be deasserted with respect to clock is now suppose if this reset changes exactly at the passage of the clock right here uh, near this uh, um, window right uh, just like the for the with respect to data signal we have the uh, setup and hold right so similarly we will have something called reset um, recovery and reset removal okay so now when in this window right if the reset is changing a uh, to one here okay so that means your x can go into meta stability meta stable condition over here okay it can be some uh, you know uh, unknown value okay this is a unknown or it can meta stability state so that's the reason what we do is we will add a you know a kind of a synchronizer on this path so that means when there is a reset that comes in so okay so this is a reset okay uh, we will uh, so this is a this is tied to one if it's active uh, uh, low reset and this is my uh, double synchronizer okay double synchronizer standard cell double synchronizer and then we will have the uh, you know reset pin that is connected over here and then we will take out the output so that means the reset this reset will be fed to this block i mean the always block so that means why we need this 
because uh, if you don't have the research synchronizer okay so your uh, design can go under the meta stability state that's the reason we need a you know uh, uh, double synchronizer now there is some problem with the asynchronous uh, reset also so that means what is the you know uh, the cost of having the asynchronous reset is basically now assume um, if there is a signal if there is a reset if it comes as a spurious signal spurious signal as in um, now if the reset is generated which for a short duration of time which is something like this very tiny okay so this is could be because of some glitch also okay it could be if it could be because of some glitch if this happens right so then also you will go under as a reset okay because uh, uh, this uh, you know you are considering the asynchronous reset right like that's the reason your design goes under the reset cycle so now uh, there is some kind of logic that will be added okay so in order to qualify what exactly is the reset okay now uh, there is some there will be some requirement for the reset like you know what should be the minimum width of the reset so that it can be qualified as a reset suppose if there is a glitch something like this right which is a very sh short spike right like then if it goes under reset then it's a bad uh, signal okay so this is should not be qualified as a reset that's the reason there will be some kind of a constraint that will be added so that the reset should in order to qualify the uh, as a reset signal as a reset so there should be a, some minimum width that should be present uh, i hope uh, this information is clear to you guys and uh, uh, if there is any query right related to the you know synchronous reset or asynchronous reset please do let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to help and make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you receive all the further updates thank you